So this is Dark Art Pro in the studio on a Friday. I thought I'd do a quick video on using your airbrush and how you can control it better and how you can pull those fine lines. Bit of airbrush control. It's always good. Improves your artwork. Makes you feel confident and improves your art. I'm going to use my CMC here just to show you um, how I get those lines. And instead of doing it on some boring bit of paper or a bit of like dye bond, I'm like, I've got a Stormtrooper on with you. Stormtrooper helmet, which I've started, I've primed, and thought, well, at least you can see the lines on it, can't you, when we do it? So, I'm not going to do anything special, I'm not going to show you dagger strokes, or anything like that, or, I don't know, I just find that a bit tedious. But I thought how, I can show you how you can get the really fine lines, and how we can get that control, getting into sort of little areas, and bits and pieces. So, yeah, so I hope everyone's alright, please uh, subscribe if you like, or if you don't want to subscribe just don't um, but I hope you do and um, people are watching my videos that's really cool um, I hope you are learning something or just enjoying the art um, I'm very passionate about it and I hope you enjoy watching them um, so if you want to even chat with me just drop a, a comment in the comments box and I will probably get back to you um, yeah I just enjoy sharing my art so yeah I, I'm hopefully the videos are getting better I'm trying to be a bit more professional but uh, well I'm not really good at this to be fair but I don't care because this is a real deal. This is people airbrushing at home or airbrushing in the spare time who really enjoy it. So yeah, there we go. So we've got my CMC and when I hold the airbrush, I'm going to put my thumb here where the apex is. That's my trigger finger on top. And then I wrap these rest of the fingers around the airline or where this, this metal bit is. Some people have um, moisture traps here that can wrap around there. So that's kind of cool. Um, so that's nice and tight. So when I just sort of want to sketch out, I have it very loose and I can just, I'm going to spray on the side of here, you can see it. And I just maybe put the mist down like that. There you go. So that's kind of when I'm mapping out areas, which is really nice. What a lovely Stormtrooper helmet. Um, and then when I think, oh no, I need to get some detail now. I want to get those lovely fine lines. What I do is, again, wrap fingers around, thumb on that apex area, trigger finger in. And then what I tend to do is either wrap the whole hand around and use this to lean on going in nice and tight or my preferred method generally is I kind of like just place two fingers you can see I even grip there look as well two fingers here and I use it a bit like a snooker cue so it's kind of this area that I'm going in and I can get into the, I've got that flexibility to move the airbrush in without minimal movement instead of like moving the hands right out of the way and doing that again <coughs> bless me bless you everybody right sorry about that people say you shouldn't do videos where you burp fart sneeze whatever well i've sneezed i might do another one i don't know why always have to do two so there let's go back to it so two fingers tucked in and then i'm just going to spray a bit here make sure my pattern's still good i'm going to tuck in tight and then confidently just move slowly and you can see this lovely fine line and I'm using a really small amount of air there. Do it again. You can see my fingers tucked in. Nice and strong. Let's move this across a bit. There you go. Confident. Air on. And I'm just in a fine line. Ooh. And we'll just do a circle at the end. Let's do it here so you can see a bit better nice and tight circle squircle and you get these lovely fine lines so if I want to do a larger line or the spray pattern bigger we just pull away a bit I'm adding a bit more air just because it's got bits to go and as I go closer in that line will get smaller and smaller and smaller and you get these lovely patterns the micron's really, really fine. You can see it's doing some absolutely beautiful little pattern work on this lovely Stormtrooper helmet. So yeah, so about control. Um, so if I wanted to do uh, go into there and pull a line across this area, again, thumb on here, wrapped around there, whether you've got moisture trap or not, trigger finger on here, two fingers or in, and I'm going to concentrate nice and close, air on, and I'm pulling this line. 
There we go. Let's go up. Whoop. So it's constantly having the air on constant, not letting go. You can even hear it there now. Air on constant. Sometimes you've got to manage a little bit of tip right at the end just to whip it off. Tucks right in. Let's go across here. Can we see? Yeah. Okay. Air on. Confident. Those lines can be really, really fine. And then you can go really big if you want. Again, it's just practice. It's like a, a crazy stormtrooper sort of nightmare, that isn't it? I kind of like it. <laughs> so that's it really. I mean, this is not super fine detail work, but it's how we get to that point we want to get there. So if you want to get close in, careful not to touch your tip. One more try. So I recommend practice, get your airbrush, get tucked in, try and do those lines, maybe give yourself a little pattern to fill in or something, like a square, whatever, just try and get some practice where you can pull those lines. And I recommend getting a Stormtrooper helmet to do it, if you can. Or maybe a Cylon. That would be cool. Anyway, Dark Art Pro finishing here. Um, I hope that's kind of helpful. You've probably seen videos similar than that, but in real life, that's what it's like. <laughs> um, we'll do one more. Thumb there, tucked in. Snooker cue. Here we go. Control. Anyway, Dark Art Pro saying goodbye. Have a great weekend. Hope you enjoy. Hope you enjoy this little video here. Look at this, all right, mess, isn't it? But it's going to be painted black anyway. Um, have a great weekend. Um, look out for my other videos. Please subscribe if you're not, then that's fine. And I'll have a uh, and I'll uh, look forward to interacting with everybody. All right, have an awesome weekend. Goodbye, Dark Art Pro.